What's going on guys? Today is day number three chasing after salmon. Day number one, I paddled along freaking ways, over seven miles, I think, round trip. Got out to like 400 feet, which was uh, deeper than I've ever been in the kayak before. And didn't catch anything. Then I came back day two, I uh, paddled out. Just did standard fishing. I didn't go out that far. But we'll just say that gate didn't go too well. Might show you some clips later, but uh, I just prefer to forget about that day. And now it's day three. I got a watermelon flasher with a crippled anchovy trailing behind it. And I'm hoping today we can turn our luck around. It's been a tough go on salmon for me so far. So we're going for redemption today. Using a downrigger setup, just dropping my uh, weight, or sorry, my bait back behind me here. And then the way this downrigger works is there's a little clothespin, where is it? Right here. So I clip my line in, like so. And then I'll drop this down to whatever depth I think the fish are at. I'll be trolling around and then hopefully, if all goes as planned, fish will come, take my bait, and pop that line off the clothespin, and then it'll be game on. So, name of the game right now is paddling. We'll be paddling for the next few hours at least until we get a bite. There's a thick ball right there, right on the surface. Yeah, I can see it's pretty. It's, you can see the dark water's a lot darker right there. Must be a good little school. Finally. Yeah. Find out. No, maybe not. Oh no, it's done. Oh yeah, it's done. It's done. Finally, it has been hours, so many hours, I don't even want to say that I've been wanting, I've been putting in to catch this, and honestly it doesn't even feel like a big one, but it is a fish, it's shaking its head, it's an actual fish, oh man, paddled miles and miles, honestly I don't even care, it could be a 5 inch stand at this point. But if it's a keeper, that'd be better. <laughs> I would like to eat a salmon if I could. Oh my god, look at this salmon. Well, that's the target species. Unfortunately, it's about 10 inches too short. But that's what we're looking for right there. I don't want to handle them too much, but I'll just give you a quick look. There you go, king salmon. 
not a big one by any means but it's my first one of the year and like i said i've been paddling a long freaking ways to get this one yep it's a king salmon you can see the black gums in there this is the coveted fish that we're all after unfortunately minimum size is 20 inches in this area where i'm fishing but this is a feature 20 incher so whoever comes back and gets them in a year or two they'll be eating good Well, to be honest, I saw it pop off the clip, and uh, like I said earlier, that indicates the bite. But once I got tension on him, he's so small I barely even knew he was on there. But, uh, it's nice to get the skunk off my back. And, you know, where there's one, there could be more, and there could be bigger ones. So, I'm gonna get my crippled anchovy back in there. So the idea behind these crippled anchovy hoods is you get the head of the anchovy in there and then you can give it a nice little bend. I don't know, I don't like to give it a big bend, but you can see right there. And then this back hook, I just kind of let it hang. And then there's a rubber band. You don't need the rubber band. You could just let it hang, but I like to use the rubber band. And that way you can get the second hook right by the tail just like that. And it's never guaranteed, but that way you got a good chance if a fish eats this thing or even takes a piece of it, probably gonna get hooked. So anyways, let's get our line back in, see if we can find a keeper. Well, I paddled about 20 miles, put about 20 hours on the water, and we had our fair share of adversities for sure. I hinted that I might roll the footage from yesterday, so this is probably a good time just to show you the kind of things that I had to go through to, to catch that salmon. Not to say that it wasn't worth it, but man, it's tough out here. And some of these are self-inflicted wounds. I'm not blaming anyone but myself, but oh, it's been a grind. Today is an exciting day. We are targeting salmon. Salmon, chrome, chromers. I don't know, whatever you want to call them, it's an exciting fish, and they taste great. And I haven't caught one yet this year, so I'm hoping today I can break the ice. I'm, I've heard some reports that they're coming in on the kayak, not a lot, but let's see if we can get on a little bike today. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off trolling this, uh, sorry, watermelon apex. And to be honest, I don't really know why a salmon like this, but they do. No luck on the apex, but I have seen a couple other kayakers hook up on crippled anchovies. So lucky for me, and unfortunately for the salmon, I had one ready to go. So this guy right here might quite possibly be the only other kayaker who wants the salmon just as bad as I do right now. Outdoor chef life, he's grinding it out with me. I see something swimming in the water over here. It's either a shark or a sunfish shark I uh, might regret going closer to it but I'm gonna do it anyways. I think it's a sunfish and it's a, not a small one either. Ooh, look at that. Things about the size of a backboard maybe. Huge. Damn it! There goes the drone. No way. No way. Oh. oh my god. I think I'm out of 
Oh, that was dumb. I shouldn't have had this right there. What happened? You just had it on the side? Well, I tried to take it off from here, and this was just there. I don't know. It was too close. Oh, it hit the net? Yeah, it hit the net on the way up. Oh. Damn. Uh, well, that's a loss for you, man. Well. Uh, Big loss, man. Well, I better catch a salmon now. All right guys, well that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I know we didn't catch any big, big fish, but you know, I did break my uh, skunk on the salmon for this year, and it's still really early for salmon season. I mean, we've got long, long ways to go. I'll be out here many, many more times to catch that keeper. And I think there's a sea lion following me around. Yep, there is a sea lion following me around. He literally bumped into my downrigger cable. Look at that guy. If I hook the salmon, rest assured he'd steal it for sure. But anyways, what I was saying was, thank you guys for watching. I know we didn't catch any big, big fish in this video, but salmon season is just beginning. And I'll be out here many, many more times to catch not only keeper, but some big fish mixed in as well. So, gotta go recuperate. Uh, recover some funds, get another drone, get another sunfish. Oh, there's a lot of life back here. There's a sunfish right here, too. That's the fish that I was trying to film when I crashed my drone. But anyways, appreciate you guys' view. Ah, it's a grind. It's a grind. And crashing a $1,000 drone is definitely not fun, but all part of the job. Appreciate you guys' view and all your support. And until the next video, Thanks for watching. Oh my god, you idiot! This is why I can't have nice things.